For the Oxford Plains Dragway, I'm Caleb Lamb with the weekly recap. As the calendar hits September, the championship series hits high gear with only five points races remaining after tonight. This being the 15th event of the 2016 season, and the action was sponsored by JCW Napa Auto Parts with locations here in Oxford, Auburn, Lewiston, Lisbon, and Farmingdale. In Dialin' for Dollars, we had the most impressive performance of the 2016 season. Scott White ended up just one ten thousandth of a second off to take home the $355 purse with a run of 6.0899 seconds. White also took his orange Chevelle to the final in the modified class. He and Ron Childs both ended up breaking out but Childs was closest to his time to claim the win and set his sights firmly on the division championship. Russ Poland's stellar season in top eliminator continued with back-to-back -back wins now. This week he outlasted Eric Pickett's patriotic Corvette for the first place trophy. And there were several other drivers with a second straight win. Steve Salo appears to be back in top form in his Camaro in the nostalgia class. He was dominant in the final rounds, less than two hundredths off his dial in time each run. Jeff Simpson was the runner up in the final on a red light. Dan Poirier also made it two in a row in the street class while others struggled and broke out. He stayed consistent in the S10 pickup. Corey Small was on the podium for the second time in 2016 after another fantastic night for him, helping him solidify a spot towards the top of the point standings. Andy Wood was a newcomer to the finals in the Bikes and Sleds class. His number 23 sled lost out to division champ Justin Wood. No relation. With the victory, Justin finally earned a win sticker to finish blocking out the Yamaha logo on his Woody's performance sled. And we also had the fifth installment of the Harley's Only Challenge. That one went to Roger Stevenson, who claimed his second win in the event. Young Caitlin Bragdon ended up the runner-up in her first time out. Coming up on Sunday, we have the makeup date for the Show Shine and Drag event, with a car show being followed up by some of those show cars making passes down the 8th mile drag strip, and a no-box gambler's race and the Predator of the Plains series in action as well. And next Friday, the championship series continues on September 9th with an event sponsored by Speedway Homes. For more information, you can check us out online at OxfordPlainsDragway.info. And don't forget to find us on YouTube and Facebook. For the Oxford Plains Dragway, I'm Caleb Lamb.